am officially making a YouTube video on what to do when you have a tropical storm or a hurricane coming in. Down here on the Gulf, we have a lot of these storms that come in. Your horses get rained on, your livestock gets rained on, and if you're like everybody down here, you might have one or two stalls and you've got five or six horses. What do you do? This is Rain Rot Management 101, how to prevent it, how to treat it that had to spend some time in the storm without a sheet. You can see how he's bubbled up and he's blistered up. I'm going to show you how to stop this process so he doesn't lose hair. Thoroughbred, I've seen worse. I tried to keep him out of the storm, I rotated. Now go up to Chowder. Now he stayed out in the storm wearing the sheet. He's got some of it going on in his neck and we will address all this. All their skin is hot to touch. I'm sure they are sore. Probably feels like they are a little bit sunburnt. Storm's gone next day. You still have 20 mile an hour winds. What are we gonna do to bounce their coats back? Walk to your laundry room and walk to your bathroom. You need to get the wintergreen alcohol. I've already got it mixed up. Grab whatever you soak in the bathtub with. Eucalyptus, the, the beads, the sands, the salts, whatever you have, grab it fabric softener whatever you have you need to get fabric softener and it all starts with a bath everybody has to have a bath with some type of dandruff anti-itch shampoo what you need to do all this before you get started is a nice soft rubbery brush is what you bathe them with and you're going to need a sponge i'm done with the scrub and now i'm going to the sponge okay you're going to start with their bath first you scrub them down and they will be very sore. They're sensitive. Their skin is sore. It's on fire. So do it soft. Get them soft down real good. And then you're going to rinse. And then we're going to apply the magic. Don't forget about the face. A lot of them will get rain rot right up there, right in between their eyes. This is hot water with the fabric softener, wintergreen alcohol, the whole bottle, and a half a bag of Epsom salt pre-mixed like I want to take a bath in this it's pretty concentrated I probably put not quite a half a bottle of fabric softener I'm gonna fill this with cold water and I'm gonna sponge this on his body I'm gonna sponge this on and not rinse how sensitive he is his skin is on fire so you sponge this on it's nice and warm so they're, you're not running them all over the wash rack they're standing quiet for you this price feels really good sponge it all over their body also no one ever tells you that your salt blocks and your mineral blocks will disappear during a tropical storm so either pull them in out of the weather completely or cover them up. After the storm, you still have a salt block, which would not be here if I hadn't covered it up. Have a great rainstorm.